What up crew? In this episode, we're going to bring 3D printing to the World Cup. Let's check it out. Joe P. Kirchman here, and in this episode, I just wanted to show kind of a little remix that I did to uh, some thinking of 3D printing. Oh, by the way, this t-shirt segment is not brought to you by Brazil. I'm not even that big of a fan of soccer. It's just that they share the same colors as the Green Bay Packers. Now, I'm not really into watching grown men fall down and pretend to be mortally injured, but I do like the trophy. I basically took the FIFA World Cup trophies and I wanted to see what it would look like with a Veroni style pattern, and this is what I came up with. It looks pretty cool and it's pretty simple on Mesh Mixer how to make these kind of patterns. Let me walk you through it real quick. Basically, we import in our model. In this case, I got the World Cup by Beccarian off of Thingiverse. Once we bring this into Mesh Mixer, then we're able to edit it. And in my case, I want to delete the world. Eric Clapton may want to change the world, but I'm just going to erase it. Right now, we're just going to select everything that we're going to delete. And it's very nice because it shows up in orange or red or whatever, I'm colorblind, which will become more apparent later on in the video. But for now, we're just going to go around and keep selecting everything with a larger brush. This will help save a lot of time. Then when we want to do some detailed work, we can change the size of the brush and go in and get all of those corners and tougher spots. I'm not really worried if I highlight something that I don't want to delete. All you have to do is go over it and hold shift at the same time, and it will unselect the orange part by clicking on it. On my first one, which is the one that I remixed and put online, I was a lot more selective and more detailed on all of those corners. This one, I'm just kind of showing you a general example of what you can do and just kind of hurrying it up so we don't need to watch me try to paint every corner. But you get the idea. You just want to go around and get all the spots that you want to delete. Then you just hit X and it all disappears. Now it's going to leave an open hollow shell, so we want to close that up. Now with something like this, it's pretty obvious to the software that there's a big open shell. So if you just hit analyze, it will close it up for you. All right, so if your model has a lot of triangles and is very complex, you want to reduce them by hitting shift and R to help make it easier to create this Voroni pattern. And yes, you can even pronounce it Voroni or Voronoi. We then want to go into edit and make a pattern of dual edges. I wanted to make my spaces bigger and further apart, but change the settings and figure out what you like. Then after lots of computing, which I edited into one second, you're welcome, we now have our crazy model without the world. But what I thought would be another element of 3D would be some sort of interactive part. And I came up with a gyroscope idea as the world. Now somebody already made this called Delpac. And what I did was just combine their gyroscope onto the trophy. So basically now that we have the trophy looking the way we want, we just import in the gyroscope onto the same workpiece. We'll then move it on top of the trophy into a position that kind of works well. The problem with this is the trophy is a little bit bigger and if we make the gyroscope a different size, it's gonna throw off all the measurements to make it spin properly. If you can try and get the outside edge to touch the hands, then basically job done. I like the way this looks, so now we're just gonna combine the two into one file that we're gonna send to the printer. I found that combine was easier on my computer than Boolean Union, so that's just what I went with. All right, so now we have one whole complete model. There is one tip that I wanna show before we slice it for the printer, and that is to create a flat base for this to print successfully on. Because this is gonna take about a day and a half to print, I wanna try and give it the most success that I possibly can. And the best way is to have those first couple layers stick to a raft as big as possible. If it doesn't start out well, then it's probably gonna fail only a couple hours into it. So if we give it a plain cut on the bottom, then we're gonna have a lot more area that is gonna be printing onto the raft and being secure and stable for the whole print. All we have to do is go in and use plain cut on the bottom of this to give it as much area that we can. This will work just fine, and now all we have to do is export it. 
It's gonna be a nightmare for almost any 3D printer, but don't worry about the horizontal parts. They'll actually bridge pretty good from other places and we'll probably just cut them off and clean them up and sand them afterwards. I was gonna use my Jotrax M300 because it has a heated bed and lays a really nice raft, but it was a little bit too small of a printer for this file. Maybe next time we will meet again. So I went back to my large Jokerbot and after a day it looked like this. I was completely shocked. People may give these machines a hard time, but it has worked great for me for three years and it is an absolute beast. I'm printing with three shells just to make it as strong as possible and I'm using about 15% infill. Because these tubes are so small, it doesn't really matter. I'm using a seven millimeter raft and sprayed some hairspray on that base just to make sure that everything is gonna stick to the platform. The orange PLA that we're using doesn't really matter because we're gonna spray paint it gold. And I'm printing it at a low temperature around 208 degrees Celsius. Now I'm colorblind and I first thought that the FIFA ring around the trophy was black. Apparently it's green, a very dark green. So this is the color that I came up with after mixing some black and brown and green together. And since it's a different model because it's 3D printed, I figure if there's a change in the color then that's fine too. After a couple layers of paint and some nails and melting and cutting and sanding and more painting, this is what it turned out to be. The file crashed my graphics card on my computer, but I'll put it on Thingiverse and if you can print it, good luck. Oh yeah, and later that afternoon, we were very happy with our French friends named Antoine and for a moment excited with our Portuguese friends, but by the end of the night, we were crying with every girl named Joanna. Now, I'm not an advocate of every team gets a trophy even if they lose, but if they had their own 3D printers, maybe they could customize their own foosball tables and play in the off season. Let me know what you think about this trophy and remix something in a Veroni style for yourself. Now all that's left is to kick it off with a quote.